of an organization called the Garden's Edge. Um, my family and I also are farmers here in New Mexico, Amio Farms. We sell at farmers markets and to restaurants. This is Jocelyn um, Cajon. She's from Guatemala and she works with our program in Guatemala. And as I'm talking, she's going to be demonstrating um, how to pop the seed of amaranth, which is a plant that we're going to be talking about. But just so you can see um, what it looks like. And we work um, primarily in Guatemala and we have a nutrition program where we work with children. And we've had a lot of success working with amaranth, which is this plant right here. Many of you probably know and have seen it before. It's also, um, it's native to Mesoamerica, but it's also grown in New Mexico. This is a Hopi variety from Arizona. Um, and it's also very weedy, so you'll find it a lot growing in cracks, and it's probably one of the plants you pull out of your garden when you're weeding. Um, but it's actually super highly nutritious. You can eat the leaves, and you can also eat the seeds. And in the communities where we work in Guatemala, there's over 45% of children under five are chronically malnourished. Um, and typically what most government and other aid programs do is instead of teaching people how to grow their own food, save their seeds, have their gardens, is they come in and they give away free food. So they'll come in with big food donations. Um, they'll use a cereal, like a type of formula to give to children. Um, and so really they're just, they might mean well, but they're creating a cycle of dependency that's very hard to break. And that malnutrition level has not ever really gone down. Um, but in our program, we started working with local grains. One of them is amaranth, and we've had a lot of success with the children that we work with. So we um, make, there's lots of different things you can do with amaranth. You can make it into flour. You can pop the seed. We have some delicious cereal bars we'll share with you all. Um, and through using these native and traditional crops, we're able to help um, community and children thrive. And so I think like our message today is just how important it is to look for the traditional varieties that you have, especially as our climate changes. Amaranth is, um, it can grow in all the continents, all the farmable continents of the world. And it um, can grow in really hot temperatures. We worked last year in Los Angeles and we planted it in the LA Arboretum. And it was one of the only plants that was really thriving in the 100 degree weather. But it can also grow in cooler climates so it's one of those few plants that can really go from different places um, and adapt really well. So we brought seeds from Guatemala and we planted them in uh, northern New Mexico, in California, and they always does really well wherever it grows. Um, the other interesting fact about amaranth is that Monsanto has labeled it one of its biggest enemies because the pigweed that grows along with the corn, it now has developed a resistance to Roundup. And really, it's a plant that wants to feed us. It's very strong. It's developed a resistance in its DNA. And it's always traditionally grown with the corn. Um, it's part of the Three Sisters system. Um, in Guatemala, they call it milpa. Um, and so it's a plant that we really highly value. Jocelyn's going to share with you a little bit about the nutritional value of amaranth. Hi, everyone. So as Sarah was talking about the amaranth, the amaranth is very high in protein so it also has calcium and and other types of vitamins like um, iron so it's very helpful and you can y use it in your in your diet and it's very easy to implement to implement it because for example this flower you can make a drink out of it and you can also use it on on your meals like for example if you cook beans you can add a spoon of amaranth flour to it and that is how you are adding more vitamins to your food or if you have a salad you can add the pulp amaranth to it so so it's really easy to to eat it and it's a it's a plant that can be fed to animals and and of course we can also eat the little plants but we can use the grain for different purposes too so so over here if you want to come see we just pop the amaranth <laughs> yeah, so this is how it looks like if you would like to come closer. And we also have 